Hey guys, this is Vo. Uh, there is an update on the BIOS for the uh, ROG Ally. Um, so if you're interested, uh, you should go grab it and update it right away. It's um, July 4th, which is um, a holiday in America. I think uh, Asus or Asus, they do not understand American holidays at all um, because they announced this product on April 1st, which is uh, April Fool's Day. Everybody knows that. But I think because they're a Taiwanese company, they do not understand that, that that's a practical jokes day. You don't make an announcement on April 1st. Anyway, to get the latest BIOS, um, uh, you're going to go to my Asus uh, software. And you can see right away we have a essential update. Click on that. And then they said that there is a hot fix for the BIOS. Um, it's only 11 megs, so it's not going to take very long to download. Just click on download and um, update all, I mean. And of course, they want us to connect to a power source, <laughs> which I will do after this. Uh, but hopefully this will improve, um, make improvement on the uh, software and everything. I actually love the ROG Ally. I just think that this company just does not understand the uh, uh, American market at all, I, you know, because they're not a Western company. Well, anyway, so hopefully I'm going to update and hopefully it's going to be better. Okay, so uh, we've just updated the BIOS. Um, it actually took a lot longer than I thought. It took like over two minutes probably, um, or possibly more, but it did take a long time to update. Um, so if you do a search on the, um, my ASUS, it should tell you you have the latest BIOS and it says we're up to date. And there we have it, it's, uh, version 1.322. And um, let's do another check and make sure it's the latest version it is. Um, now the uh, thing is, uh, I went to check the change log. And they say basically this new update is only to um, basically uh, change the uh, the fan speed from 30 decibel to 35 decibel. And then when on battery, it's up to 30. The reason it does this is because it gets extremely hot and um, it causes issues with the uh, SD card, the micro SD card that's located up here because it's right next to the vent. I can attest this is the problem because I had the this SD card eject while I was playing a very hot game. And because the heat maybe expanded the uh, the the uh, the thing that holds the, um, the SD together, the SD card, that it just popped out. So it is an issue and it's a problem. And I think Asus knows that and so they uh, updated the BIOS to do that. There's also a change in the Armory Crate software to uh, 1.2.13, but um, it does not appear to be active at the moment because if you pull up the uh, Asus um, the Armory Crate and you go to Content and you go to System, or maybe not, Storage, no. What am I doing? Uh, back let's go back so if you go to update center and you can check the update but as far as my uh, asus um, the armory crate software uh, i'm still stuck at uh, 1.2.10 so hopefully um, they'll push out the update soon but there's also supposed to be a change in the Armory Crate software. See, we're, I'm still stuck on this version. Um, and uh, yeah, apparently I'm supposed to be, apparently it's supposed to be up to uh, 1.213. So I would keep an eye out on the update. I'm looking forward to this update because I've never really liked Armory Crate. I think it looks kind of chunky. <laughs> and so they're making some UI improvements. So hopefully... Um, that work out and then kind of curious about the new new look um, but I mean this thing I don't I don't really love it I don't 
I honestly don't use this uh, because I don't like some of the icons and you can't change it. And um, I mean, you can, I guess, remove games and stuff, but you can't, I don't think you can change the artwork or anything like that. Um, lately, what I've been using is like Play Night, which um, actually I think it's, I can't, there's no touch screen because I may be in, okay, I have no idea. Well, it's not perfect. This, <laughs> okay, so, um, but basically this will have all my games that I have not installed, but if I want to install, I can click on it and then install it. Uh, I do have multiple versions of the same game because they're on different platform. So let's say if I want to install um, Baldur's Gate, or actually I may have to use the controller. Okay, maybe, um, this is a bad demo. Okay, there, oh, it, it, it launches um, in GOG because that's the, um, that's what I have the game service on. Um, and then you can install it or I don't know how. But basically, um, that's, um, uh, I, I like this version better. Uh, and thanks to uh, the YouTube person that recommended this uh because uh, I basically use this as a launcher. Um, you can use GOG as a launcher, but I think that the problem is sometimes it does not um, um, pull in some of your games. And I know that happens to me with Steam where it would not um, sync. Um, for example, um, let's do a Steam game. This is a Steam game. Oh, I guess I can play it if I press play. And it should launch uh, Steam if I launch it. Um, the uh, thing, the thing is, the latest you have to basically hack this so that you can get it to work. Okay.